Okay, a few more acid-base reactions for us to do. Nothing super different, I don't think. Uh, hydroiodic acid is HI aqueous, except when you put that in water, it quickly stops being HI because it's the top six acid. So this converts to H3O. You can't find HI in solution because it breaks up instantly, gives away its hydrogen to water, and you get this instead, hydronium. Sodium sulfite dissolves into sodium ions, don't care, and sulfite, which is SO3 2 minus. So these are the characters we're going to tell our story with. SO3 meets H3O. This wants to give away a hydrogen. This is happy to take one. So we get HSO3 single minus. The charge went up by one. And the conjugate base for hydronium is water. They said just one quantitative reaction, so I'll just stop there. You, you've seen me do multiple reactions. I think you get how that works, so we won't burn any more time than we have to here. Uh, sodium hydrogen sulfate breaks up into sodium, don't care, and hydrogen sulfate, which is HSO4. And to that we add potassium. That won't do anything. Hydroxide. And what will we get? This will give away a hydrogen, because it's the only thing here that can really act as an acid. And so it will form sulfate ion. The hydroxide will take up a hydrogen and become water. Lithium hydroxide, lithium ions don't matter, we just get hydroxide from that, is continuously added to carbonic acid, which is H2CO3. So, this is an acid, it can give away a hydrogen, the OH will take one and become HOH. And with this, this gives away one hydrogen and becomes the hydrogen carbonate ion. And they want to run reactions, so there it is. Yeah. Hydrobromic acid is HBr, but not when it hits water. Then it becomes H3O. Is continuously added to potassium phosphate. Well, that would dissolve into potassium, which doesn't matter, and phosphate ions. They want two reactions for this, so if we have phosphate and it reacts with H3O, this will take a hydrogen, become hydrogen phosphate ion. The conjugate base for this is water. If we keep adding hydrogen to that, Uh, this gives away another hydrogen, so now we have H2PO4. And that will trade down to water. There could be a third reaction, but they only wanted two, so done. Okay. Sodium hydroxide is added to hydrosulfuric acid. Hydrosulfuric comes from hydrogen sulfide which is H2S. So to that we are adding OH. Because sodium hydroxide breaks into sodium, which we don't care about, and hydroxide, which is our base. So this can give away a hydrogen because it's an acid. It'll become the hydrogen sulfide ion. OH will take that hydrogen and become water. They wanted one reaction, so that's it. Perchloric acid comes from hydrogen perchlorate, which is HClO4. But that's a top six acid. In fact, it's the top acid, according to my data book. So when you put this in water, it quickly hands off its hydrogen, and we get H3O instead. And that reacts with potassium hydroxide, breaks up into potassium, don't care, and hydroxide. Oh, so this is the top acid versus the top base. What do they do? This gives away a hydrogen and we get 
So the conjugate base of H3O is water. The OH takes a hydrogen and becomes its conjugate acid, which, lo and behold, is also water. So strongest acid plus strongest base equals neutral water. They completely cancel each other out. That's why they call it a neutralization reaction, because the products are neutral.